Hello viewers. In this video, I am going to explain how we can apply the fractional Euler's method to solve a system of fractional order ordinary differential equation. So as you can see on the screen, we have a paper published in 2010 with the title Analytic Study on Linear Systems of Fractional Differential Equation. From this paper, I am going to choose a linear system. So you can see that in example one, we have a fractional order linear system given by equation number 28. There is the general solution of this linear system is given by equation 29, where you can see that the one parameter metric left where function is also involved. So if the initial conditions as shown by equation number 30 are used, the system is found to have a unique particular solution as can be seen in equation number 31. Now I'm going to design a MATLAB code to solve a linear system of fractional order and solving that system using fractional forward Euler method. So I'm going to open the MATLAB M file where you can see that line number five, for example, let me change the state size to be one upon 10. The first value of the independent variable t is zero. The first value of the first dependent variable is 1.2 and the second dependent variable value is 4.2. So this is our initial condition. The fractional order alpha I have taken as 0 0.85 and the total integration interval is taken to be 0 to 1. So this is our t vari variable and capital N shows the total number of iterations. Now here as you can see I have mentioned the exact solution for my first dependent variable x and for my second dependent variable y as given in the research paper. Line number 10, you can see I have written both the differential equations. So it's a system of linear differential equations. Let me also tell you that this code does not only solve a system of linear fractional order ordinary differential equations, but it has the capability of solving the nonlinear systems as well. So the fractional Euler's method for the system of ordinary differential equations is given by this loop, where this line, number 14, is the fractional Euler's method for your first dependent variable. And similarly, on line number 15, we have the fractional Euler's method for our second dependent variable. So this is, these couple of lines are very important to understand the simulations of the system. Now, I'm interested in finding the absolute errors. So you can see that I have found the absolute errors in my x dependent variable and in my y dependent variable. Now, from all of these uh, absolute errors, I'm going to find out what is the last absolute error in the dependent variable and as well as in the first dependent variable and as well as in the second dependent variable and also I have found what which one is the maximum error in both dependent variables. So that's it. This is all you need to know to design a MATLAB code to solve a system of fractional order differential equations no matter you have a linear system or a nonlinear system. All you need to do just to change some couple of initial conditions here, your required fractional order and then if the system is nonlinear, then there is a high probability that you do not have its exact solution. So there will be no issue if you do not have exact solution, that is completely fine. You will include your differential equations over here. And then you will have to write down the equations, the method, the fraction Euler's method, the way I have written here. So no matter if you have two equations in your system or you have eight equations in your system, you can write down 
those equations within this for loop. Fine, so now let me run this uh, M file and let's see what is the, what are the errors as I have uh, computed here. So now I have pressed the run button and now I'm going to open this command window. You can see that the last error in my first dependent variable is 5.9148 10 to the power minus 2. Similarly, in my second dependent variable, maximum error in my first dependent variable, and this is the maximum error in my second dependent variable. Now, let's go to the M file again. If I decrease the step size, I should expect a decrease in the absolute errors as well. So let's run the file again, and now you can see on the command window, yes, the absolute errors are decreased. So you can keep decreasing the step size, and then run the script again, you will see that the errors are also decreasing. So that's it. This is all you should know how to design a fractional forward alert method for a given linear or non-linear fractional order system of ordinary differential equations. Thank you for watching.